Hello, my name is Dr. Neil Baum. I'm a urologist in New Orleans, Louisiana, and I would like to take a few moments to talk with you about testis tumor. In this brief video, I will describe testis tumor, tell you how the diagnosis is made, and what treatment options are available for this relatively uncommon urologic condition. Testis tumor is a rare tumor, but is more common recently than in the past for reasons that are not entirely known. There are approximately 8,000 new cases per year and occurs most often between the ages of 15 and 40. It is far more common in Caucasian men than in African American men. The good news is that testicular tumors can be cured if the diagnosis is made early. That's why men should perform a testicle self-examination at least once every month, just as women need to perform a breast self-examination once a month. There are some risk factors associated with testicular tumor. Men who have an undescended testicle at birth called crypt orchidism are more likely to have a testicle tumor than men who have their testes that are within the scrotum at the time of birth. Individuals who've had uh, testicle cancer have a 5% incidence of developing a cancer in the opposite testicle. So those men who have had a testicular tumor or those men who have had a history of undescended testicle, even if it was surgically operated and brought into the testicle, need to perform a testicle self-examination diligently at least once a month. So what are the symptoms of testicular tumor? Often testicular tumor causes no symptoms at all and is a painless mass found in the scrotum that is identified by the man on self-examination. Other times, testicle tumor can be identified when there is blunt trauma to the scrotum or testicle, and the man feels this area and identifies the tumor. For a testicle tumor that has spread beyond the testicle, there can be back pain, an abdominal mass, and if it spreads to the lungs or the chest, the man can have difficulty breathing. So how is testicular tumor diagnosed? First of all, it is the finding of a painless mass in the testicle on self-examination. There are urine tests and blood tests containing markers in the blood called alpha-fetoprotein and beta-HCG. These are two blood tests that are commonly elevated in men with testicular tumor. The ultimate test for the diagnosis is a scrotal ultrasound that determines the anatomic relationship between the mass and the man's testicle. The diagnosis is confirmed with a a surgical procedure that is made in the inguinal area or the lower abdomen and the mass and the testicle on that side are removed. Usually this is done on a one-day stay basis and there is minimal post-operative pain and discomfort after the surgical procedure. So what are the different types of testicular tumor? By far and away, the most common is seminoma, making up 50% of all testicular tumors. Other kinds of testicular tumors include embryonal cell carcinoma, choriocarcinoma, yolk sac tumor, and teratomas of the testicle. Staging of testicular tumors are very important. These are used to determine the appropriate treatment. Stage 1 testicular tumor are those tumors that are limited to the testicle. 
stage two testicular tumors are confined to the lymph nodes within the abdomen or the pelvis. Stage three testicular tumors are those that have spread beyond the abdomen and pelvis to distant organs such as the lungs. Now what treatment is available for testicular tumors? It depends on the type of the tumor and the extent of the tumor growth. Testicular uh, tumors can be managed with careful monitoring and surveillance with regular CAT scans or MRIs of the abdomen. Surgery can be used to remove the spread to the lymph nodes. Chemotherapy can be used if there is spread to the abdomen and pelvis. And radiation therapy is one of the most common treatments for seminoma. So in summary, testicular tumors are rare tumors in men between the ages of 15 and 40. It usually is accompanied by a painless mass or lump in the testicle. The diagnosis is confirmed by a scrotal ultrasound, the use of tumor markers, and then confirmed by a surgical removal of the mass and the uh, associated testicle where the tissue is then looked at underneath the microscope. The treatment for testicular tumors is well over 95% cure rate and the prognosis for men who have testicular tumors is excellent. Bottom line, I recommend that all men between the ages of 15 and 40 do a testicular self-examination at least once a month. Any lumps or bumps identified in the scrotum should be called to the attention of your doctor or your urologist. I know you may have some additional questions regarding testicle tumor, the diagnosis and treatment, and I would recommend that you go to my website, www.neilbaum.com, or contact me at area code 504-891-8454. Thank you.